Good morning, folks. So I'm working back on working on the SBC, the small block Chevy that I'm gonna put into a 49 Ford shoebox. And the problem is that I'm not a problem, but I looked at a bunch of forms as the Hamp and then the Jalopy Journey and stuff, Journal and got some information. I got some information from RP. I couldn't find a video like on how to do it. So here's how I'm doing it. Cause I need to put a Nova 2 oil pan on the small block Chevy to make it fit into that car better. So <clears throat> what I'm doing is <clears throat> you have to put, I bought this kit from Jamco Suspension. They came with a new oil pump, a new rod, <clears throat> a different oil pan, low profile one. Came with a three piece gasket situation or four piece, whatever. But I might just go get a one piece and put it in there. Came with a new dipstick, two oil pan, and, and it came with a new pickup. So the pickup here, we've done a little modification to it already. The pickup goes in there, and it's supposed to bolt right down here. It's supposed to be on Nova's. They have a hole there already threaded, so you can do that. Or you can buy this bolt here, or you can make your own. You can probably do your own. I just chose to buy it for $15. This is the old bolt that came out of it. So you buy this new bolt here and it has a nut a bolt welded onto the top of it already with a little nut for it so you torque that down then you put that in there the oil pickup so you're making this to a front sump you can buy the gm from classic gm that's where i got the bolt from and then you can buy this from classic gm this adapter thing and you take this one off of here and weld this one onto it what I did was I just did a little modification with the hammer and the vise, and I bent it. So now I need to figure out where I need that at and measure off the other one and drill my hole in here and then cut off my excess of this. And then I can get that to fit on there. So I don't know. I just bought this kit on here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So I bought this kit on here for $499 and it comes with whatever you need. It says, this is a small block Chevy oil pan kit you'll need for installing it in an SBC in your 49 to 51 Ford cars to provide proper tie rod and cross member clearance. Includes oil pan, oil pump, push rod, gasket, dipstick, pickup tubes. In case most, most hole for pickup tube will need to be drilled and tapped for mounting bolts. So, I didn't want to drill into the motor here. So then I just bought this bolt. But if you're handy around the house, you know, with the wife and stuff, you could just weld that little nut, take that out, weld it on there, and do it. Or just spend 15 bucks from Classic, GM Classic, uh, part number 02004. And then the bolt part number is 010021. So we're gonna get that all tuned up, dialed in, and then get that figured out where I need it, and then I'm gonna put it on there. I was reading on the Jalopy Journal and the Hamp, and they were saying <clears throat> if you if you buy a Nova oil pump and you put it on here, you would have to grind in here so this doesn't hit. And then when I bought this kit, it said it was already ground and everything, and it wouldn't hit. So I'll just turn over the motor, test it, and it does just nick it. So I need to take the oil pump back off, and I need to massage that a little bit so that doesn't hit there. So, I'm not no expert at this. I'm just a uh, redneck in his garage trying to build this thing because that was my uncle's car. His first car I got from his dad. And it was parked in the woods. And then some raccoons lived in it for a while. And then I got the motor out because it was stuck. It was a whole series. And then I got this engine staying out of the woods trying to get that working. And my grandpa built with one arm. So, I'm just trying to piece this thing together. So, follow along for the story. So they had ground in here, 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 and here already. And you can see just where I, when I tap, moved the engine, you can see it tapped on there. So I put a mark around there with a marker. So maybe you can see that, what it is. So I'm gonna uh, massage that off of there with the grinder and should be back in business. So I lopped off about that much. And I got it kind of bent how I wanted to, just kind of guessed, and it, it actually a little massage and worked out. So now I got the whole uh, center punch, the hole in the middle there where I think it needs to be 
So I'm gonna drill that out and then I'm gonna go and uh, test it. I got that all installed now. Took a little bit to get this hammered in here. I took this off, put this in the vise, and used a crescent wrench on here and then a hammer to push this in. So I got that <clears throat> all installed. I just bent that some till I got to where I needed it, cut it, drilled it, I got it on there, set in place. It took a little bit to get this lined up inside of here, the oil pump, <clears throat> and then get that lined up at the same time and put on there. But it took a little while, got it all lined up, dialed in there, working good. Took a little bit to get this pounded on there, took it off, put in the vise. So that's <clears throat> how the conversion is. If you don't want to drill that hole in there and tap it and then try to not get any dirt, dust, shavings inside of there. So I'm going to button this up. I'm going to put that oil pan on there next. And that is how you uh, change it. So I'm just going to use the four-piece gasket thing they got. Dab some silicone in all the areas. And hope for the best. Got the new oil pump all on there. So now it's a front sump. Looks a little weird, doesn't it? But uh, that's what needs to fit into this uh, 49 shoe box. So hopefully that helps some of you guys as you try to figure out the old car and your stuff. I couldn't find a video like it, I guess. So I made one. Hope you have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.